Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about commuting in the Bronco. I'm going to show you my five favorite accessories that make the front cabin cleaner, more organized, and just a nicer place to live during your commute. Let's get to it! First on the list, and these are in no particular order by the way, is the Bartak Front Door Molly Pouch. This is a really nice high quality pouch. I like it a lot because it uses the factory hardware where the net was and it just bolts right up. Another thing I like about it, and this is an incidental thing, is behind the pouch there's still this little divot which is perfect for stuffing my gloves in or my flashlight or a pair of glasses for really easy access. The zippers are high quality. I'm not exactly in love with the poles just because they're black and they're hard to find in the dark of the, of the Bronco. It's big enough to hold my microfiber towel for cleaning the display. I keep my sunglasses in their giant case in there. And also I've got some uh, wet ones tucked over in the corner here. So when I get dirty, I'm not spreading dirt all over the inside of the Bronco. It's fully padded. It has a dual compartment inside and on the outside there's the molly pattern, although I really doubt that you'd put a pouch on it because it would intrude too much into the footwell. Also there's the two inch Velcro, which if you love putting patches on or you need some identifying patches, that would be pretty decent for that. Overall this is a very nice item. It's very easy to install and worth the $109 that they charge for it. To be honest, I was really surprised by the Husky weather beater floor mats. I've always been a WeatherTech sort of guy, and I really wasn't happy with the last pair of fitted WeatherTech mats that I got. So I decided to try the Huskies, and I'm very, very happy. They fit perfectly. They don't move because they're anchored in the back, and they hold a tremendous amount of water. I dumped probably about 10 ounces of water out of it from just moving around in the snow yesterday. There's really not much else to say about them because, you know, they're floor mats but they are high quality. They're worth $169 for the set of four for the front. And if you want the cargo liner, that's another $110 for the rear cargo area. Some of you may balk at this choice, but this actually has 6,300 positive reviews on Amazon. And it is essentially an elastic pocket organizer that's perfect for throwing, well, your man purse into. It does double duty as being a partial barrier for keeping the dog in the back seat, which is kind of nice. It installs quickly and for 20 bucks, it's actually perfect for just easy access to get to my first aid kit and all my other necessities of life. The back pocket is usually reserved for the mail when I pick it up or for my 18 ounce Yeti coffee thermos, which I'll show you a little bit later. The next two items I grouped under one number because they're both essentially no-brainers and they're organizers for the center console and the glove compartment. The center console one basically just raises up the surface to be more useful. You still have access to the PowerPoint. It lifts out very easily and the only thing I could think of keeping under there was a box of Kleenex. I don't know what you guys keep in your center console, but like I say, I still like to have access to my PowerPoint. There's my urine cup full of change and some gum and then a wallet that just has some petty cash in it. This one was kind of pricey for what it was. I think it was like $19 from Amazon. And then the glove compartment organizer was a little bit more reasonable around like $13. Basically between the two, I find that the glove compartment organizer is much more useful in the respect that it takes a giant useless hole and actually makes it usable. Um, I like having an extra level that I can put my manuals up top. I can put my insurance and registration up there as well so it's easy to find if you're in an accident or if you get pulled over. And then you have two nice little cubbies down below for just incidentals. Uh, I keep down there some Clorox wipes and some cables and on the other side uh, more Kleenex because I guess we have a lot of runny noses in our house. All right and last but not least this is probably my favorite modification to the Bronco so far. These are the IAG LED accessory lights for the front cabin. <laughs> I just love it every time I do that because it's literally like sitting in a stadium and having them turn the lights on. The stock dome lights in the Bronco are just truly dismal. Um, adding these lights really helps me be able to find things in the dark in the Bronco and it's really awesome. On top of that, 
the cost is super reasonable. They will deliver these to your door for $99. There's a fairly extensive um, installation. It takes about two hours. Um, there's a lot of trim that has to be removed. They offer a wonderful instructional video and also a very detailed 42 page instructional manual that you can download. The only advice I would have is if you're putting it in is I would have a headlight source because it gets pretty dark down below when you're trying to get the wiring done and maybe a set of magnifiers just so you can truly pick out the right colored wires because that's kind of important. But overall, this product is a smash hit in my opinion. I hope you like the rest of the products I picked. If you think this video is useful, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day. We'll see you out on the trail. I did want to throw in a few honorable mentions, and certainly this is something I use every day, which is Yeti 18 ounce, I believe they call it a Rambler, but it's basically a coffee thermos. Keeps my coffee super hot, and it fits perfectly in the cup holders in the Bronco. And the only reason I was introduced to this was because I actually went to the Bronco Rodeo and they gave us each one for a prize. I'd never bought Yeti products before, but certainly this has impressed me. Keeps the coffee almost too hot for too long. Um, I continuously seem to burn myself, but I love it for what it is. And for 30 bucks, it's an awesome deal.